y'all welcome to another TTC update if this is your first one that you're joining in on my name is Crystal I am a TTC right after breastfeeding and it's been about two months and I have yet to see a cycle yet I haven't had a period I haven't ovulated we're technically still trying but I am keeping you up to date with all of my OPKs all of my Fitbit heart rate charts and my newly founded love my Mira uh, my Mira fertility tracker tells you the exact LH in your body. It's like so mind-blowing to see that you can know your exact amount so it can kind of confirm what your heart rate's doing, what the OPKs are saying. It's pretty much I think the game-changing tool. I think it's what's really going to help me pinpoint exactly when I am ovulating and truly help me catch my first egg. And um, if you're wanting more information about that Mira or you want to get one for yourself, check it down below. I left a link for you down in my description so you can grab one for yourself. And don't forget to use my coupon code CRYSTAL20 for $20 off. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get right into some updates here. Um, I did want to mention that my baby got a hold of my ovulation test, which is a huge bummer. He destroyed them and it really grossed me out too because he was touching them and oh my God. Okay. Anyway, so I had to start from scratch for this month, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I, we still see a bit of progression going on. And today I'm going to do um, some live ovulation tests with you and we get to see the results together. So that's going to be fun too. I'm going to do an OPK with a mirror and show you guys my heart rate charts. So, um, since I don't have my OPKs or the Mira ready just yet because we have to take those, I'm going to go ahead and show you my Fitbit chart right here so we can kind of check that out together. It looks like it's kind of staying a little up, but it's kind of flatlined. So, I mean, it's, it's there's no telling which way it's going to go. Um, I'm really excited to see though. And um, it looks like my body is finally trying to get it together. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see in a minute with um, the other stuff. But anyway, I brought some other stuff here to show you guys. So if you already know, I quit coffee, and this has matcha in it. So this is something that has really been helping me with my energy levels and also just to get good nutrition in and. You guys know I've been trying to go plant-based. So I've been trying to say no to red meat, limit my lean meat, because whenever you have a plant-based protein, it really increases your ovulatory health. And so um, Timmy Blends sent me over some of this wellness protein. It's a plant-based protein derived from, I believe, beans and some other stuff. Let's see, we'll read it together. Okay. Infused with super ingredients, white tea and natural chocolate bean. Ooh, chocolate bean. It is rich chocolate, so that's really cool. But y'all, this has quite a bit of protein, 17 grams of protein in one scoop. So this is really gonna help me keep on track with that and definitely increase my ovulatory health. So um, I'm also gonna leave you guys um, my coupon code here, 25% off of these Teamy Blends products if you guys are interested in getting that for yourself too. I highly recommend it, honestly, because you don't really find a lot of stuff that are good for you and taste good too. So this is definitely a must for me. I'm most likely gonna use that throughout this whole time of my TTC journey. And um, this is also the prenatal that I have. I found this on Amazon, I'll leave the link down below. And also to my OPKs that I use, but um, this, I think, I don't know if this has a boost of energy for me too, but this seriously, I think you've heard me say it before, but it tastes like grass going down. So that's, that's how you know it's really good for you. Um, but I have not missed a prenatal because I want to make sure I'm getting enough of that folic acid and, and stuff like that to help my body prepare. And then I'll show you what my mirror looks like if you are new here. It's so cool. So this little mirror is actually like a little lab in your hands. It detects your LH hormone. Um, and I think they also have some uh, tests for estrogen and another maybe for progesterone and a progesterone, progesterone. Oh, I can't 
can't even say that right right now. Oh. Anyway, okay, I don't know if those tests are out yet or if they're still in the making, but I know that this is compatible with those two, so you can truly start to control, and not control, but get to see all of your hormonal levels so you can pinpoint what exactly is going on, and I love that. So um, I'm gonna leave a little card link up at the top here somewhere where I did a full review and did my first test with you guys on this so that you can kind of see how it works. So we're gonna do one of these today too. And um, I guess I can show you what my OPKs look like now. Um, so here they are, that little progression there. Guys, it looks like it's getting a little darker, but I mean, I definitely still have not had a surge yet. So I'm excited to see what's been going on today. But um, I did also wanna mention that I think I have seen a difference in my hormones um, because I am kind of breaking out just a little bit. And at the same time, I have um, noticed some like cramping on my sides, like where my ovaries are and um, some, you know, breast tenderness and like headaches and stuff like that. So, I mean, I know there's definitely changes going on within my body. So that's really cool to keep track of. Um, so if you're in the same boat here and you're wondering what's going on with your body and these things are happening to you too, it's totally normal. It's your body trying to figure it out. But um, anyway, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get these tests going. I have both of them here completely unopened and so this is my ovulation test and this is my mira test and we're going to figure out uh, what these look like and be able to compare them too so that's really cool so let's go ahead and get started all right so i got my stuff ready and we're going to go ahead and do this one first since this one takes the longest so here is a mira test and do this for 10 seconds. We're just gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then you just swipe down the excess here. Okay, turn on my mirror. Alrighty. So that's going to hang out for a bit, and I guess I can just put that over here. Next, we're going to go ahead and do this one, and this one, usually the results are within, I should have taken that off, okay, five minutes. So this is five minutes, this is now 15 minutes and 30 seconds, so let's see, we're going to count two, five. Yes, I always say seven though, because I'm a fast counter. But we'll count two, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let these hang out for a bit and then come back when they're ready. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my test results, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wellness protein and we're gonna go ahead and make a little smoothie with this. Okay, so I have some ice water and then I have my protein. So this is what it looks like. Nice and chocolatey. It smells really good too. It smells just like chocolate. And a little banana because I need a little bit of sweetener in there because I have a sweet tooth. So you're just going to get one scoop and put it on in. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my banana. Doesn't look so good yet, but it will. I may have overfilled it. <laughs> Whoops, we'll see how it goes. And there you have it, it actually worked. So, we've got a chocolate banana smoothie. That is delicious, you guys. Like, 
the fact that it doesn't even taste like a protein powder is the best part. It tastes like chocolate banana. <laughs> so good. And if you wanted it to have more of a smoothie taste, you can just add more um, more ice in there. Or maybe freeze your banana. That's probably what I should have done. But um, that's really good. Like, I am pleasantly happy. Okay, well, let's go see if the test results are in because I am dying to know. All right, y'all, so the results are in and we have a level five here. So it says I have the five. I don't know if you can see that. Um, a few days ago, I had a seven. And <laughs> so it went down, which is not good news. But I mean, it's not like it's significant. And here is my OPK. So my OPK, it's, you know, a little darker than normal, but still not a positive. Well, that's okay. I mean, I'm at this point, I'm kind of used to getting, you know, these kinds of results, um, which I'm okay with because in all God's, in all God's timing, it will happen for me. And I'm just excited to be even trying for this last baby. It's just... You know, obviously, if I could have it immediate, I totally would. But I'm not like that. I am very patient. Um, and I think, you know, this gives me some, you know, more time to kind of just, you know, get prepared and all that for pregnancy. And, um, you know, because it's, it's a lot of mental work that goes into it as well. And kind of like doing some last, last minute things. Like, I mean you know all the stuff that you can't do whenever you're pregnant those are the kinds of things that i plan on doing now at least in the last couple weeks so um i'm really excited though i'm just excited to be in my two week wait so that i can start taking pregnancy tests because let's be real that's the most exciting part of trying to get pregnant is the pregnancy test because that is whenever you know for sure and um yeah so that is pretty much going to be it for today's video. I mean, I really hope that you guys liked it and like keeping up to date with all of my results and how things are going. Um, but yeah, so make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss next week's video. And I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.